Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net This video is uh, on how to edit categories your categories and subcategories for your menu if you need to make changes to them or, or add it, do any editing whatsoever I'll, I'll show you how to do that log into your WordPress dashboard into the back end of WordPress here we are here logged in and uh, you, just under posts here on the left hand side you'll see categories click on categories and here you'll see your different categories that you've created in the back end it'll show, also show you how many posts there are for each category this is actually for a new client so they've only just uh, started to add some content but uh, you can see all the categories and the subcategories I've created these today if you ever need to edit any of these it's pretty straightforward um, you just click on the category or we'll take uh, acne treatment uh, click on acne treatment um, you won't have that in your uh, your wordpress installation <laughs> but uh, here we are here you can easily change the name of um, the, the category quite easily if you've already posted to uh, this category this is a slug so this will be in the URL which is the part of your permalink so you want to be very very careful if you're changing this part otherwise both your internal and your incoming links will be affected and they will become broken so uh, if you're going to change the slug part of your uh, category uh, you'll need to install a redirection plugin so uh, just be very careful there but changing the names no problem that's very straightforward uh, you can add a description there as well and there's a few other things that uh, I'll go through as well for, for search engine optimization purposes you can add some SEO on this category so it's just some general overall uh, keywords and uh, an SEO uh, custom title this can be um, for this one be acne treatment so we'll put that in here uh, meta description just a general descri description of your overall um, posts that will be in this category and the keywords and for the keywords you could just add uh, the main keywords for each post that you have under this category so that would be a good idea for the search engine optimization options when you're creating categories make sure you don't create uh, two categories which have identical names that will cause problems so I've seen quite a few people do that and uh, it's not a good idea make sure you've got individual categories and in uh, for, for, for your blog posts. If you ever need to delete a category for any reason, um, you, you can do that. It's, it's really not a good idea, but if, but if you have to do it, you can do it. And uh, you, the posts that you've um, that you've created for that category won't be deleted. They'll just become uncategorized. So. Uh, they'll go into the category uncategorized and they'll still be there so you can add them to a new category if you decide to do that down the track so I'll just show you quickly again how to add a subcategory once you've added categories and you, you might choose that you want to add a subcategory um, you just find the parent which is the main uh, top level category it could be uh, healthy recipes and uh, and you can add a, add, a, add a new category to that and the way to do that is you'd have to go back into your post so I'll, I'll do that now go back into your post and just under categories on the right hand side here um, click on add new category and if you want to create a new category called um, We'll call it anything. We'll just call it um, smooth skin or something. Smooth skin. Uh, this you want this as a subcategory to your parent category. Just enter it in here. The subcategory name. Find your parent category, which might be um, natural skin care, and just click add new category, and that'll go straight in. That's all for this video. If you need any help with any WordPress related services, I do have a WordPress services uh, tab on my website and I do offer different types of per issue WordPress services, installation and, and anytime you get stuck you can contact